Annie, for being here with us today. Um, my background is as a businesswoman and an entrepreneur, and I know how incredibly important it is to have a budget that's responsible. And I must say that this budget is incredibly irresponsible and dangerous. Um, it would be an enormous setback in pretty much every area that affects American families, particularly for children, seniors, and people with disabilities. It would have a negative impact on critical research, on health care, job training, our environment, affordable housing programs, education, and that's just to name a few. Um, rather than gouging programs and important programs that the middle class relies on just in order to give the wealthiest Americans a tax break, um, we should be working on a bipartisan budget. That's what works, a bipartisan budget that provides working families certainty and stability. And um, so let's start with farmers. Um, under your budget, more than 5,200 positions at USDA would be eliminated. This is part of a larger 8% cut. The Farm Service Agency alone, which my farmers rely on for critical assistance, would lose 973 people. USDA Rural Development would lose 925 employees, and on and on. Um, this was a bad idea when it was proposed in the past, and it's still a bad idea. Um, what's the rationale for making a farmer drive hours out of his or her way to get to one FSA office that's open three counties away because you decided that rural America is doing just fine as it is? Um, and farmers lead incredibly busy lives, and making their lives more difficult through cuts like this is incredibly short-sighted. So why are we why are we cutting important programs for Congressman, farmers? I, I appreciate the question, um, and I, well, I have received some questions about um, some of the the farm um, supplement this and subsidy programs. I, I've not received that exact question before, so I apologize if I'm only going to be able to give you half an answer. And I don't, I'm not satisfied with half an answer, so I want to give you a full answer in writing afterwards. But I'm looking at my notes very quickly on a topic I'm not as familiar with as some of the other things. And I see that the farm loan programs are um, up $564 million in the budget. So I, I'm not farm saying services agency, uh, The Farm Service Agency alone um, would lose 973 people, and we already know that access is hard. Um, I've heard that from my farmers directly. I, I just heard it from a farmer <coughs> last night. So um, I'd appreciate more information on that. And I apologize for not um, having it at the top of my head. So This budget would also cut the National Institutes of Health, the NIH, by $6 billion, which is a truly stunning and irresponsible cut. Um, in the last few years, Congress has worked on a bipartisan basis, bipartisan basis to boost NIH funding by nearly $4 billion. And I'd remind you that federal funding for NIH supports more than 400,000 American jobs and generates more than $60 billion in new economic activity. Unfortunately, the federal government's contribution towards basic research at the NIH have consistently failed to keep pace with inflation, which has allowed the agency's purchasing power to diminish by nearly 20% since the year 2003. So if we're serious about breaking new ground in our understanding of complex and life-threatening conditions, then it's absolutely essential that we increase funding for the NIH. Um, we can't hope to accelerate, to accelerate development for new cures, therapies, vaccines, without additional resources for research. And these need to be consistent, stable resources. We just agreed through the end of this year to make sure we increase funding for NIH in a bipartisan fashion. So why can we not support bipartisan ideas, important ideas that have a positive in impact on our economy and a positive impact on our communities in terms of the innovation and the impact it would have on people's lives? Um, I'd like to understand your rationale for setting back medical progress and research across you know, many critical areas. Sure, and I think we probably can agree on more than you realize, Congresswoman. I don't know if you were here uh, when I answered a similar question from Congressman Cole earlier. Uh, but the, the administration wholeheartedly believes in the commitment to research. Uh, we'd like to see more focus on what they call basic research, which is research further away from the markability of products, because that is one of the gaps that the government can and should fill. Um, when you look at the long lead time on developments of new drugs, for example, um, many companies can And that's why consistent dollars are important. And so Absolutely here we've is. had continuing resolutions, and we disrupt that, that ability for scientists to see their research. Partial research doesn't work. You have to, if you're going to fund something, it's got to be funded all the way through. We're running out of time, and so I just want to say this is critically important. It's a bipartisan issue, something we agree on. You're cutting dollars. You're not oh, adding and dollars, and as, I think we've got to focus on that. As I mentioned in my last three seconds, so, 
that. If you look at the way we propose to spend the money, we can actually spend as much money research next year as we did last year. Oh, I yield General back. General Lady's time has expired.